Hey everybody, just back with another video. Um, I know it's you know it's not quite April first; it's only March twenty eighth, but or sorry, March twenty ninth. But the thing is, we're very close to this twenty three percent carbon tax increase, and I just wanted to talk about you know an idea that people had that I've heard of, and you know at first I kind of thought it was a good idea, but then the more you think about it, you just realize that you know, for example, holding back on buying gas. So fill up on March 31st, and then that way on April 1st, when the carbon tax increases, no one's going to be buying gas. It's like, okay, if you could do that over an elongated period of time, that might work. But the problem is, even if you don't fill up on April 1st, you're still going to have to fill up on April 5th or 6th, whenever it is. Gas companies and the government, they can, you're five or six day long protest although it's a, it's an idea i personally don't have a better one so i'm not trying to criticize it too hard but it's it's they can wait you out five days and then you're still going to have to pay that 23 percent uh, increase on your gas i think in some places it's going to be what 60 or 50 or 60 cents per liter i mean that's that's going to be hard for a lot of people and, and like I said, you know, I wish I could come here with a better idea. Like, you know, if you sign this petition, the people can actually force an election. I, I don't believe that's an option. The NDP is going to have to vote with the Conservatives. Mary Simon's going to have to do it, which he's not. Or Justin Trudeau is going to have to call an election, which surely he won't. Now, I did hear a rumor, and I don't believe, I don't necessarily believe it's true, but apparently because Trudeau has you know, been comparing Pierre Polyev to Donald Trump a lot, the thought is that Trudeau may want to have an election right around the same time that the Americans are having an election. That way everyone's focused, you know, everyone who hates Donald Trump is focused on it. And then Trudeau's going to be like, he's just the same, he's just the same. And if some people believe that, you can start to see the, the polling numbers kind of uh, balance out a little bit more, if you will. I don't think that's a very good tactic. He's already tried it a little bit. It hasn't seemed to work at all. Most people are smart enough to understand that there's a big difference between Pierre Polyev. Okay, I've mentioned this before in another video, so I'm not going to get too much on that. Um, I just wanted to really make this video to say, you know, I appreciate the idea that, hey, we need to do something. Let's figure out a way to protest it. But just like you're seeing with the Just Stop Oil protests in uh, a lot, of, especially in Europe, it's not doing anything. So I appreciate the idea, and I'll, I will admit, again, I do not have a better idea. I don't know what to do about this. It would have been great if we had an election. It's just not an option right now. Um, if there is some way where we can, and, and again, I think this should be the case in no matter who is uh, in, in office, I think that the people should always decide when there's an election. Why does the, Why do we give the government so much power? I don't get it. But that being said, um, hopefully we can find some way, right? But in my opinion, if if you have, a say, an approval rating of under 30%, that should probably automatically trigger an election, shouldn't it? Maybe I'm wrong, or maybe you have to go to 25 or 20%, because I know with all the different parties, you know, if it's, like, no one even really gets 50% that often, if ever. Uh, even the conservatives probably won't get 50% of the vote, and they're leading by a crazy margin in the polls. But in my opinion, I absolutely think that we, the people, the ones who are supposed to be the government's employers, not the other way around, they are supposed to be our employees. We should be able to fire them if we feel it's necessary. But we can't. Because the MPs who represent the people who voted liberal in the past, who now want to vote conservatives, are the ones who speak on behalf of those people. And I understand that that uh, that process, but when you vote for an MP, that shouldn't mean they get to speak for you, uh, to you for four years. They shouldn't be speaking on your behalf for four years because a lot can change in that time. It should be put on us. Approval rate, rating falls below a certain threshold, whatever that number you need it to be. It should automatically trigger an election so that if we need to fire a corrupt, communist, tyrant wannabe, we should be able to do it. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments section. Uh, I'll be back with another video shortly, and don't forget to subscribe.